Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play through a song called 4x4 by Miley Cyrus. And there's this really cool little bass run where you could play the open A twice, and then third fret on the A, and then we do that again, O, O, 3, and then we go open A, and then 3 on the A, and then open D, and then third on the low E string, and then we go back to that O, O, 3, so you're going A, A, C, A, A, C, A, C, B, G, A, A, C, and it's kind of a recurring idea. Now the chord that you could kind of back up through that like though would be an A minor, and the way you play A minor. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, the second finger goes to the D on the second fret, and third finger goes to the G string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, this sounds really, really sad. Now you could also use just the A string and the D string in that, and that's something called A5, you want to kind of play around with that. Or if you lift off the third finger of that, that sounds an A minor 7, and that might kind of free you up with that third finger to kind of add in that lick, and if you want to just try, try that with downs. It just kind of working, kind of just doing downs through that part. Or a lot of times with a song like this to kind of support my voice, I like using something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A minor and tried that. You'd have down, down, up. repeating that for kind of our verse and our chorus until we get to our pre-chorus part. In our pre-chorus we go to an E minor chord and we play E minor. First finger goes to the A string on the second fret. Second finger goes to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. In that part you'll kind of hear this E minor, E minor. So kind of working downs on that too. And then from the E minor we'd be going to a D minor chord and we play D minor. First finger goes to the high on the first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and the third or the fourth finger on the B string, third fret. And if you show them the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. So that pre chorus is almost like kind of like a stop time where you do the E minor with downs, E minor with downs, D minor with downs, D minor with downs, D minor, down, down, down. Or you could, if you wanted to strum through that, you could use the down, down, up, up, down, up, and have D minor. So we're back to kind of that, that A minor with our lick. So you might want to kind of follow that through the team too. Kind of playing around with that. And then from that chorus, then we'll be going back into our verse form. So we'll basically keep that going. Now something else you may want to add to the song though is bass notes. And, and a lot of times on that first down, it's a down, down, up, up, down, up. You can add in a bass note for the chord. So on the A minor, you have the A string for the bass. Note. So that's where that riff is kind of starting on. It's kind of that open A. Next verse with basses, we'd have A minor than A bass, 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 A minor than A bass. And then from there, then we'll be going back into our pre chorus part. So we have our E minor. So, so you can word that with kind of that bass down up up down up or the just the down down up up down up or you might want to try that build, kind of just doing those downs with kind of that leg to kind of follow that part and then from that chorus and then we'll be going into our bridge part and it's almost like a stop time thing actually where you might want to just kind of accent it with kind of an A minor down and you might want to stomp 
you know, make percussion sounds on the guitar through the acapella bridge. And then from there, that then you kind of hear that that bass lick kind of sneak back in, kind of oh three, oh oh three, oh three, oh three, oh oh three. So you want to kind of follow that. And then from there, then we go into kind of our last verse. And on our last verse, it's kind of an extended verse. It's a lot of that A minor. So what you may want to do is kind of take all these ideas and kind of play around with them, kind of see what you can say with them, kind of play around with it. So, or if you know other strum patterns that you think could work through this song, that could be a cool thing too. Or if you know other licks on the chords, that could be a cool thing to do too. And then from that verse, be going into our pre-chorus again. So we've got the E minor, D minor, or E minor, D minor, D minor. Mix it up a little bit again. And then from there, then we'll be going into kind of our outro chorus, where it's kind of all about that. string second fret kind of for the A5 power chord. So that might be a little bit easier. You can embellish it, right? I'm kind of working some down ups around that. So you want to kind of play around with that too and kind of see what you can say with it. But that's the basics of how you can strum through 4x4 by, four by Miley Cyrus. So good luck!